What if I told you that T.O. Purebred Chickens unintentionally designed the business model that dominates the global poultry market today? For over a century, egg production relied on hardy, rustic breeds like the Plymouth Rock, but everything changed with the Rhode Island Red and the Rhode Island White. In this video, we will not only reveal the genetic secret behind their famous cross, but you will discover the truth of why purebreds died out to give life to the high-laying hybrid hen. Prepare to rewrite your business strategy. Let's begin. The Origin of the Legends, Rhode Island Red and Rhode Island White To understand the revolution, we must travel to the mid-19th century, to the state of Rhode Island in the United States. Two sister breeds were born here, created by farmers seeking the perfect chicken. First, the Rhode Island Red. Bred to be a dual-purpose chicken, robust, resistant to winters, and, crucially, an exceptional layer of brown eggs. It was the ideal backyard chicken. Its cousin, the Rhode Island White, brought the key factor. While less popular individually, its white plumage genetics hit a secret that, when crossed with the Rhode Island Red, would become the industry's most valuable tool, color-linked sexing. Rhode Island Red, the Red Legend The Rhode Island Red didn't earn its fame just from a cross. In its pure state, it is a true poultry legend, dual purpose. It is the queen of the semi-heavy breeds. It offers an ideal balance, an excellent layer of deep brown eggs and good muscular development for meat. Unrivaled hardiness. Its most valuable characteristic is its robustness. They are designed to withstand harsh winters and adapt to less than perfect diets or free range systems. This hardiness was passed on to all of its hybrid descendants. Production. A pure, well cared for Rhode Island Red can deliver between 200 and 250 eggs per year. Furthermore, it maintains a surprisingly consistent laying pace, even when other breeds stop. Rhode Island White, the hidden gem. On the other hand, its white sister, the Rhode Island White, is a less visible but equally important gem, egg color. Despite its white plumage, often associated with white eggs, the Rhode Island White is a brown-shelled chicken, a vital quality for its cross. Temperament and meat. It is known for being a good-tempered bird. Also, like the Rhode Island Red, it is a semi-heavy breed that offers good meat yield, with an attractive yellow skin color. The Great Genetic Contribution Its primary role is genetic. It provides the silver gene S, which, as we saw, is the key factor that makes its daughters with the Rhode Island Red sexable at birth. The tipping point, the secret of the cross. But the real tipping point was not the chicken itself, but its offspring resulting from the cross. The cross between a robust Rhode Island Red Rooster and a Rhode Island White Hen not only combined their excellent laying capacity, what truly revolutionized the industry was that the chicks were born with a magical characteristic, color-linked autosexing. Imagine this. At birth, male and female chicks had different down colors. Previously, producers had to hire specialized personnel and spend valuable time determining the sex. With this cross, sexing was done with the naked eye at the moment of birth. Overnight, massive costs were eliminated and production was accelerated. This efficiency, this simple genetic trick, caused the purebreds to start losing their dominance against the new sexable laying hen that had just been born. The Economic Impact of Sexing the discovery of auto-sexing was not just a genetic curiosity, it was an economic revolution. In egg farming, only 50% of the offspring, the females, generate a return on investment. Before this cross, farms wasted time, vaccines, and feed-raising males that were useless for laying, only to discard them weeks later. The possibility of identifying and separating 100% of the pullets at birth represented an instant 50% savings in rearing costs, space, and feed. Overnight, this simple genetic trick became the most powerful sales argument for the new hybrid model, making the traditional, non-sexable purebred system economically unsustainable for large-scale production. Example of the application of the genetic principle, the black star. The magic of color sexing is not a company trick. It is the direct application of a genetic principle. The best example is the black star or black sex link. This extremely popular laying hybrid is born from the cross between a barred Plymouth Rock Hen and a Rhode Island Red Rooster. Here is the key to its success. The barred gene is a sex-linked gene. When we combine the intense red color of the Rhode Island Red Rooster with the barred pattern of the barred Plymouth Rock Hen, the result is that the pullets, the future layers, are born with solid black down, while the males are born with a distinctive white spot on their head. Instant auto-sexing, high production and ready for business. However, there is a crucial warning. If you try to do the cross in reverse, using a barred Plymouth Rock Rooster and a Rhode Island Red Hen, the dominant barred gene is expressed uniformly. The offspring are born as fully barred chicks and are not sexable by color. 
This underscores that, even with the best breeds, the correct direction of the cross is the difference between a backyard hobby and a profitable business. History, Production, and Hardiness of the Black Star Beyond genetics, the Black Star is a workhorse. It was developed in the United States and Canada to capitalize on the demand for brown eggs, offering the hardiness of purebreds but with superior production, reaching between 250 and 300 large eggs per year. Designed for efficiency, they reach sexual maturity quickly, starting to lay between 18 and 22 weeks of age. A crucial fact, as a hybrid created for massive laying, the Black Star has almost completely lost the instinct to be broody or to incubate. It is an egg-laying machine, not a mother. But the impact of the Rhode Island Red and Rhode Island White Cross did not stop at home farms. The model was industrialized and perfected. The secret of the cross between Rhode Island Red and Rhode Island White, which uses the color sexing characteristic, was the basis for the creation of much more famous laying lines, such as the Isa Brown. This is where the French company Isa, or Institut de Selection Animale, a giant in poultry genetics comes in. They took the principle of that historic cross, leveraging hybrid vigor and the ease of sexing, combined it with other genetic lines, and took it to the maximum scientific expression. The Isa Brown, the intellectual daughter of this Rhode Island cross, became the best-selling brown egg-laying hybrid in the world. The difference is that, unlike backyard crosses, the Isa Brown is a patented product. This means that companies protect the hybrid's genetics, forcing producers to buy replacement hens year after year. This is how a simple genetic trick became a multi-million dollar global business model leaving purebreds behind forever. The genetic legacy of Rhode Island in the ISA Brown. The key question is, why did a French company like ISA base its best-selling hybrid on American breeds like the Rhode Island Red and Rhode Island White? The answer lies in the color genes. ISA didn't just want high production, it wanted global operational ease. ISA geneticists recognized that the original Rhode Island cross was the most reliable way to obtain color sexing for brown egg production. They use the Rhode Island Red and Rhode Island White as the foundational genetic base for two specific reasons. The Rhode Island Red provides the egg color, brown, and the color gene which, being sex-linked, allows for chromatic differentiation in the offspring. The Rhode Island White provides the dominant white or silver gene which, when crossed with the red or gold gene of the Rhode Island Red, allows males and females to be born with distinct down colors. In essence, ISA took the color code created by American breeders and turned it into a patented formula amplified with genes from other breeds to optimize production. Thus, an American chicken became the engine of the French laying industry. The genetic engineering of the Isa Brown, heterosis. The simple Rhode Island Red and Rhode Island White cross gave us an efficient and sexable hen, but the Isa Brown is something else. Think of the Rhode Island chicken as a good car engine. What the Isa company did was take that engine, take it apart, and rebuild it with Formula One parts. The Isa Brown is not the offspring of just two breeds, but of a concentrated genetic cocktail. For years, Isa geneticists introduced the best genetics from dozens of key birds. The extreme laying capacity of the Leghorn, the robustness of the Plymouth Rock, and the growth speed of the New Hampshire. Instead of simply crossing the Rhode Island Red with the Rhode Island White, Isa created four secret pure lines. Think of them as the perfectly separated ingredients of a recipe. Two lines were paternal, specialized in genetic transfer and two were maternal, specialized in egg production. Each line carried the concentrated DNA of the best layers in the world. Only by crossing these four secret lines in a very specific and patented order is the final result obtained, the Isa Brown. This hen is not only sexable by color, thanks to the Rhode Island legacy, but has an unparalleled genetic value. Its body is programmed to convert feed into more than 300 eggs per year. The key is that you buy the final product, the super hybrid but the original secret recipe stays in the company's laboratory. The death sentence for the purebred. The emergence of this sexable and highly productive cross was not an improvement. It was a death sentence for purebred production on an industrial scale. Think about this. Purebreds like the Plymouth Rock were good, laying about 250 eggs a year, but their genetics stagnated. Companies didn't just want productivity, they wanted predictability. And here comes the key concept, heterosis, or hybrid vigor. By intentionally crossing distinct genetic lines, like the Rhode Island Red and the Rhode Island White, and then with others like the Leghorn, geneticists achieved a super-production effect. The resulting chickens, the new commercial hybrids, not only inherited the resistance and egg color of the Rhode Island, but surpassed the production of their parents, reaching 300 eggs or more in the same period. In a business where the profit margin is in the last egg, the old model of purebreds, with their 200 to 250 annual eggs and without easy sexing, became economically and historically unviable. 
The winning formula was no longer a purebred, it was the commercial hybrid. The consumer preference for brown eggs. Although the shell color does not alter the nutritional value of the egg, it does affect the commercial value. The brown-shelled egg, provided by the Rhode Island Red, is historically associated in the consumer's mind with the farm chicken, more rustic or backyard raised. This psychological factor gave it an invaluable advantage in the market. By transmitting this color gene to their hybrid descendants, like the Isa Brown or the Black Star, geneticists not only created an efficient hen but satisfied this popular demand, allowing high-production industrial eggs to be perceived as a premium product. This allowed producers to set higher prices than those for white eggs, which mainly come from the leghorn breed. Hardiness versus Fragility – The Cost of Superproduction – Warning 1 The relentless pursuit of 300 annual eggs comes at a cost – hardiness. While the pure Rhode Island Red is tolerant of imperfect diets and adverse climates, the high-laying hybrid is a highly tuned biological machine. This superproduction generates extreme metabolic stress. This means the hybrid is more fragile. If feeding, vitamins, or sanitary management fail, its production can collapse in a matter of days. This is the great warning for the small producer. The hybrid offers more eggs but demands near-perfect management, something the original robust purebreds could tolerate. The Hybrid Disadvantage – Aggressive Production Curve – Warning 2 Another crucial commercial disadvantage of the hybrid is its productive lifespan curve. The high-laying hybrid hen has a very aggressive production peak during the first year and a half. After that period, its production drops dramatically, forcing the producer to cull the flock and buy replacements continuously. The original purebreds, although laying fewer eggs in the first year, maintained a longer and more stable production curve over several years. For the backyard breeder or small entrepreneur looking for longevity and to reuse their hens, this difference in productive life is the main argument for not choosing the industrial hybrid model. And there you have it. The story of the Rhode Island Red and Rhode Island White is the story of efficiency made into a chicken. Their legacy is not in their plumage, but in the genetic code that freed industrial poultry farming from the limitations of purebreds. Today the Black Star and the Isa Brown dominate because they are the ultimate expression of heterosis and color sexing. The lesson left by this historic cross is clear. Profitability in modern poultry farming is not about which chicken is the best, but which genetic line best fits your business model. If you seek maximum production and don't mind replacing your birds every two years, the hybrid is your choice. But if you value longevity and hardiness in a backyard system, pure genetics or more rustic crosses will continue to serve you well. Now that you know the secret of this cross, which one would you choose for your farm today? The pure and robust Rhode Island Red or the super efficient and scientifically programmed Isa Brown? Let me know in the comments and tell me what other breeds should have marked a before and after. If you liked this dive into genetics and history, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel. This is where we transform poultry history into profitable businesses. See you in the coop. To your success fellow breeder, until next time.